Greetings from Bali. I am Selena Quinn and... I am uh, Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com and we are here at VitalGate. We are. How are you enjoying your time here? It's, it's fantastic. Beautiful. It's fantastic. We are surrounded by this beautiful nature and a hummingbird just joined us. So we can't, wow. we can't complain. So magical. So magical. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about tantric sex. We are going to... Actually, I'm going to find out all of what Shiva knows about tantric sex because she, Shiva knows a lot about tantric sex and I don't know so much, mm. like many of us. So, Shiva, what exactly is tantric sex for all of the population out there in the world who have this one mindset of what it is? What is tantric sex? Um, it's a good question. We've got five minutes to cover the whole thing. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, so the first thing is that... The I make, essence. Yeah, the essence. I make a very strong distinction between tantra and tantric sex for mm. myself. Not everybody does, but for many people, Tantra and Tantric sex are the same thing. For me, not. It's like there is a lot of things in Tantra that have nothing to do with sex. Mm. Okay, that's the first thing. Okay. So the thing that, uh, that uh, separates Tantric sex from other sexual practices, for me, it's a certain dimension of awareness and consciousness. When we engage into Tantric sex, it's not necessarily about making babies. It's not necessarily about the pleasure. It's not necessarily about... It, it can be as well. It's not necessarily about building a relationship. It's about expansion of consciousness. Mm. When you engage into tantric sex, what is happening is that you are consciously using sexual energy to activate, you know, a, a flow of life force, life power, and expand your consciousness from there. So, so sometimes when you engage into a spiritual practice, you might be singing, right? If we yeah. go na 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 you know, you can use your voice as an activator. You can use your sexual energy as the, as the, the source that is going to activate your, your energy. So what tends to happen is that as soon as you are entering into an energy exchange, that there is a flow of energy between two people, or mm. even within yourself, because you can activate your sexual energy inside of you without needing a partner mm -hmm. either, you know, practice yeah. of self-pleasure or self sensual awakening, mm -hmm. uh, you can do that as well. But the goal is really to, um, to put sex in service to, to the spirit, to the spirit, to the consciousness expansion. So the way, the way it happens consciously is that I call myself Shiva for a reason, is because I want to identify myself with a divine mm. being, a divine identity. And the same, when I'm looking at you, I'm keeping in mind that you are, uh, you know, you have the goddess energy inside of you, that there is life force, that there is life flow, rather than relating to you from the small story of your mm. personality, I go like, I tune into your life and look at it uh, from the perspective of you being a divine mm. incarnation. And so it's, uh, you know, I'm Shiva, you're Shakti. And then within that flow, we start bringing, you know, divine energy into into the complex rather mm. than this being you know if we were lovers and if we were in a relationship rather than this being about us building a relationship and wanting to make babies and mm. buy a house it's a totally different story and it's a totally different mindset there is a little bit of romantic energy in there as well mm. but the goal is really okay how can we offer the space of what we co-create sexually to a reality which is much vaster than ourselves it means that we mm. consciously invite uh, the sacred dimension into what, what we share. So okay. if you want a simple uh, definition uh, for tantric sex, you can say, well, it's spiritual sex or it's yeah. sacred sex. And uh, different people will define it in different ways. You know, it's again, there is no fixed definition. That's my own interpretation. Yeah. But I will use a lot of, of um, you know, for instance, magic. I will use uh, activation of the, the chakras. I will yeah. use mantras. You know, if you and, uh, and I were, were lovers, then I might be whispering you know, mantras in your ear while we are mm. having intercourse and things like that. So there is this dimension of bringing the, the, the secret in the core of the sexual practice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and it's really reawakening this, this awareness inside ourselves and this connection to spirit through the sexual practice. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. And, uh, of yeah. course, you know, it's a, it's a big taboo in society because we don't talk much about sex usually. This is something which is emerging now and we are freeing our sexual energy and getting more comfortable with it. But uh, it's like, you know, in lots of traditions, it's totally unspoken of. You go to, uh, to different cultures and you cannot talk about these things because there is a sense of uh, taboo around sex as yeah. if desire or pleasure or feeling, you know, feeling sexually connected with somebody is something that you have to suppress, that you cannot go there. Because we, you know, society in general, we tend to be a little bit afraid of sexual mm. energies, you know, when there is a fire, yeah. we don't want to 
and afraid of this wildness, afraid of this um, stepping into the unknown, I think, because even in many free societies, yeah. there is still all of this taboo around sex. Exactly. Sex is not to be discussed, yeah. not to be talked about as something bad. Yeah. So this is to bridge that gap and to actually expose what is what is tantric sex. Exactly. Be able to talk about, you know, not just uh, not just in the conversation, but the practices as well. Simple mm. practices that you will see are going to create intimacy between us, energetic intimacy, it's not sexual intimacy mm. yet. But uh, we are establishing a flow of energy that suddenly, wow, I, I can see you, I connect with you, I feel much more deeper At a soul you. level. Yeah, on yeah. a soul, on an energetic level, and uh, so that we, you know, and the thing also that it's important to understand is that it's safe, okay? Uh, right, right now you have certain certain boundaries, certain things that you are comfortable mm. with, or yeah. certain things that you are not comfortable with. My job, and the same for myself, my job is not to be here and push you into directions that that feel uncomfortable. No, my job is really to feel into what what is your your energy blueprint and try to play with that in ways that feel uh, comfortable with you and every now and then I might you know push or encourage you to explore something that feels slightly uncomfortable yeah. but then you try it and then you come back and then you feel if you where that are the space. comfortable exactly spaces. because then maybe you you explore something that at first feels uncomfortable but then you feel comfortable with it and then it expands actually your your sphere of possibilities okay. around around tantra okay does this so, answer your question yes it does indeed what about Shall you we... <laughs> i'm sure you have many and, more questions yeah <laughs> and this is coming from a place i am coming from a place like yourselves of curiosity Mm -hmm. So let's get started and see what's involved. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Thank you. Thank you.